I'm Joan Epler. Please join with Dr. Gary Epler, Harvard Medical School. Dr. Epler recently discovered a new life philosophy. It's know who you are moment by moment. Today, we're going to talk about how this applies to the belly brain. I'm Dr. Gary Epler. I recently developed the idea of know who you are moment by moment. It's a new way of life. At first, this meant know the brain region you're thinking from, and that's who you are moment by moment. Recently, I realized there was more to it. Knowing the brain region is one part. There are three other parts to the story. The heart, the belly brain, and the mind. Let's review the head brain. What's the function of the head brain? The function of the brain is to improve our lives every day, financially and socially. For thousands of years, financial health and developing social relationships is fundamental for living. The head brain does that for us. The prefrontal cortex and the cortex regions provide that high-level analytical and problem-solving thinking. The hippocampus provides memory retrieval and storage. Can't live without that. The primitive crocodile brain regions, the amygdala anger center and the cingulate self thinking center, they act by reflex, saving our lives in life-threatening situations. What are the feelings and emotions associated with the head brain? First is anger. It's from the amygdala, anger center. Second, the feeling of thinking about yourself. Whenever you're thinking about yourself, you're thinking from the cingulate, self-thinking region. Third, enjoyment and pleasure. This comes from the accumbens brain region. You need to learn to get out of that anger center, and especially that self-thinking center, in six to eight seconds before these regions produce the harmful adrenaline cortisol response causing inflammation and disease. And you need to experience the accumbens, the pleasure center, you need to experience this from natural, positive events, such as lunch with your spouse or friends, and not from sugar, drugs, or alcohol, because this is also the addiction center. Let's review the heart brain. What's the function of the heart brain, and what are the feelings from the heart? The function of the heart is to keep the heart healthy at all times. And in turn, this keeps the body healthy. Because of this, the heart will provide a one-sided answer to important life decisions. A new romantic relationship or a business relationship. A new job. The heart will always give you a decision that is best for your health. The feelings from the heart, well, they include kindness, empathy, giving, and of course, love. The head brain keeps improving our lives, and the heart brain keeps us healthy. Let's talk about the belly brain. What's the function of the belly brain? For many years, scientists have known the digestive system is filled with a massive amount of nerve tissue, which is needed for the millions of complex metabolic activities going on every minute required for converting foods into energy. This is automatic at the subconscious level, and we're not even aware of the process. New science has shown there are also the same neural cells that are found in the brain. And this is at the conscious awareness level. This explains what we've always heard for years, gut reaction, and what's your gut telling you. Let's call this the belly brain. There's the head brain, the heart, and the belly brain. What does the belly brain do? The belly brain is a risk management center. The belly brain knows risks and benefits of any action. Its primal purpose is to stop you from eating poisonous food. For example, when you look at a food and it's unhealthy, your belly brain will send you a loud message not to eat that by creating an unpleasant sensation in your stomach. Pay attention. That belly brain knows unhealthy foods like sugar foods, salty foods, and unhealthy fatty foods. Don't let the head brain talk you into eating these foods. The belly brain knows better. And 
It turns out the belly brain goes much beyond knowing unhealthy foods. The belly brain also tells you the risk of dangerous actions you're about to do and will send you a loud message, don't do that. On the positive side, the belly brain will also tell you a potential action that will improve your life. Do it. It will be the right thing to do. The belly brain will give you a benefit and risk assessment. Your head brain will carry out the action. What's the feeling associated with the belly brain? It's fear. Think about it. How do you feel when you're scared? It's a strange feeling in the stomach, not the head. It's that belly brain. The belly brain is sending you a message. Be aware. That's why taking belly breaths calm your nerves. You have a stressful presentation, a meeting with the boss, or a job interview. You're nervous. Take three belly breaths. Place your hand on your stomach. Breathe in, moving your hand up. This will calm you down. Another way to eliminate acute fear is to feel it. Just feel that fear. Feel it over six to eight seconds. Just feel it. Feel that sensation in your stomach. Feel it and feel it and it'll peak and then let it go. It'll disappear. Six to eight seconds. Over time, this will actually become a conditioned response, calming you down automatically. If you're always nervous and filled with fear, your belly is also going to be tense and upset. This is not good. It's not healthy. Manage this by managing those many episodes of acute fear that develop. I always heard about go with your gut. I didn't realize there was a brain telling you the risk and the benefits of the situation. Listen to the belly brain. It will guide you in the right direction. Use the belly brain to eat healthy foods, looking at foods and letting your belly brain tell you to eat the healthy choices. The belly brain knows. Do you have any closing comments? Know who you are moment by moment. This means know your brain region you're in and getting out of those two bad regions that include the anger center and that self-thinking center. Listen to your heart for important decisions and use the feelings and emotions from the heart that include kindness, empathy, giving, and love. Know and use the function and feelings from the belly brain. It will give you healthy food choices and give you the degree of risk or the importance of benefit of any action you're considering. The belly brain will protect you. This is Joan Epler and Dr. Gary Epler closing today's segment. Next time, we'll talk about exploring the mind.